morning everyone welcome back to another video so sorry if i don't seem as excited right now i am a little um nervous i guess you could say anxious so i have to go down um i'm pretty much making this video because i have to go I have to go and visit my opa who is down in Newcastle. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would know that um, he has not been very well the last like couple of months. Um, and so now I'm gonna go down and surprise him. He doesn't know that mom and I are coming. So we're gonna go and um, surprise him. And I just wanna make this video so that I have video of him. Okay. I was really hoping that I was not going to cry at the start. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to get my shit together and yeah, I sort of just wanted to quickly intro because you guys need to know what's happening. Um, he has just had the, he's had a surgery that is apparently worse than getting open heart surgery. He had to get um, some drain, some fluid drained from his lung. He had three liters of liquid on his lung that was not meant to be there that was causing him immense amounts of pain chronic back pain and then they have found um three growths on his lung that they presume to be cancerous he is also still waiting to get results back to see well they found the three lumps on his lung they look like they look like tumors but um he's waiting to get his test results back which the appointment is today um to see where the cancer is so um yeah it's just gonna be a bit of a <sighs> I was already having like such a bad fucking day and now it's just like you know like the saying when it rains it pours that's what's happening to me um okay I need to do my suitcase up and get out of here and not ruin my makeup I need to pack some tissue or something because this is just going to keep happening today. Okay, so this is what happens when your surprise doesn't go to plan yeah. and you've actually got to break into your grandma, your grandparents' house to try and actually surprise them. I'm really scared that's going to come out of the fucking It's floor. in concrete and brick. It is not going to come out. You look like a robber all in your black. Oh, look at you. You're so agile. Here, let I'm me pass you a Louis Vuitton handbag, yeah. you big robber. Yeah. Oh god, yeah, you've definitely done that before. I feel like I'm gonna, I might not be as agile as you. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, holy. It's Mum, it's not that high. It's, I can touch the roof, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, no. I feel like I'm gonna slip. Okay, well, I'm here, you can hold on to me. I'm actually a bit nervous. I think I wet myself. It's the pressure of the land. Come on. <laughs> Okay, so we've managed to get in, but we really have not been on. All we've done, no, Ashton. Fuck. All we've done is made Barney go lose his actual mind in there. Yeah, their dog's just casually freaking out, and we're thinking because Opa's appointment. What? He is the devil. People don't normally break in here. Yeah, this is literally like everything is so locked up. You could never even, even if you wanted to steal something, you, you could. You would literally have to smash. Yeah, even if you smash. I think it would just be really hard. It would it? be hard. Mm. So yeah, Opa's appointment is at 3 p.m. this afternoon and Oma has had a hair appointment this morning. So we're thinking that she made him drive it to the hair appointment. He's waiting for her hair to be done. Then he will drop her back here. And no, we reckon they're going to go out for lunch. I reckon they'll go from the salon to lunch, which is what we're going to have to do. If they're not, if they're not here, we, we don't know where they are. By the way, this is a no complete stubborn duck, and no one's answering their phone. So, and we can't sit here and listen to Barney bark for much longer without losing our small minds. Small mind. Sorry. Speak for yourself back there, boy. <laughs> My makeup, my makeup's holding up considerably well. Yeah. We've literally been around the world. Surprise! <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. Too, because you telling Good to see ya. Okay, after a very stressful day and nothing going to plan, Mum and I are just here making some cauliflower and leek 
soup. Mm, it's gonna be really tastes nice. Tastes fucking good. I might open up sitting in the sunroom. Mum's got some wine. I'm having a gin. I look fucking good. I'm glad I can laugh at myself because. <laughs> You're giving it raw and real, Lil. Today, I might like tell you guys about that another time, how today went, because you have only seen when we walked in. So I will fill you guys in on that um, at a later date because I don't want to say anything too loud and talk about it again because you'll, you'll hear why. But um, I might pick up the camera tomorrow because we're just going to eat and hang out with Omar and Opa now. So yeah, I will speak to you guys first. Good morning. We're off to lunch. Flat Flat on it. It. Say hi. <laughs> Dad. That's you all he get does. Your, you gotta get your seat belt on. I know, no, backseat bandits. No, not me. you. I'm talking to you. Oh, okay. Where else? So here we are at the Shoal Bay Country Club. Obviously, alcohol necessary at all times. Tiny, 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 tiny. I'm mum. Being over. He always just starts laughing. He gets a bit camera shy. He doesn't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, I've been recording for 20 seconds. <laughs> and when Dad's putting his. Now. Now we go. That is a vibe. <laughs> I suppose it's a bit of a vibe. Just, just so you know, we've climbed that mountain there. Lily complained the entire way, entire way. Don't uh, make it. Like, yeah, it was hard. I couldn't think of it anything. Mm, like honestly, so much. It was, it was harder than I remember. Oh my god. Times by like ten. I only went up there when there was no track. Never go again. Yeah. It is. What a beautiful day. Yes. There he is. Enjoying. Well, he was reading the paper. Now he's putting his stuff away and he's about to sip his coffee. That's where he sits in the morning. Bless. I'm sad to leave him today. Good morning. I didn't actually vlog yesterday because we were just trying to get in as much quality time as we can with Opa and Oma. So we're just having some avocado and toast. Out, and then we'll be off to the airport. Um, yeah, my go out and sit with him. What would be your best piece of advice for life? For life? Mm -hmm. Be happy. <laughs> That's it? It's easier said than done again. Yeah. Don't be happy. Be happy. Don't, don't, uh. I'll just live your life the best way you can. I agree. Don't you agree, Mum? Be with someone that makes you happy. Yeah. Wise words from Opa. I go to church and do the rainbow. <laughs> Live life as it comes. Yep. Anything else? Drink coffee in the morning. And beer. And beer. Drink beer. Drink coffee. Pick a good wife. That's it. What do you get along with? Yeah. What do you get along with? Kind of yeah. What's the best memory you have of something of when you were your happiest in your life? Probably when I was first married. Really? Yeah. Out of your whole life? Yeah, well. That's the one that's coming to your mind first. Oh, when the first child was born. Mm hmm. Second one was a disappointment, clearly. <laughs> yeah, so I was happiest day. Cool, so I have that to look forward to. Great. Okay, so I am back home now. Uh, have had the weekend at home. I went and had a wine with my girlfriend Emma on Saturday night. And Sunday I did nothing. I literally just wanted to have the day to eat whatever I want and just be in bed and, you know, do all of that. Um, so 
that's what I did yesterday. I feel so much better for it today. I'm up, just did all my washing from being away. Put my new Duna cover on my bed that I got. I'll show you, well, my bed just never, it's never looks that appealing, but I promise you it's fucking so comfortable. I got these linen bed sheets, the Duna cover and the pillow covers from, what's the name of the place? I bought them. I think it's like Cult, it's spelled C-U-L-T-V-I-E-R. And um, I actually, stayed when I was in Sydney and I stayed at that hotel in Sydney, the Paramount House Hotel. If you guys remember in the vlog, I said, I think I said, I swear I did because I was like so impressed. The sheets that they had on the beds at this hotel were amazing. Like so, 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 so comfortable. So I actually sent them a DM and asked them what brand of sheets they use at the hotel and they told me it was this brand. So I went ahead and purchased some for myself. I needed a new Duna cover so bad. I had that other one for years. So I'm glad that I have another one now to like swap it out with and do all that stuff. The other one I'll probably keep is like my tanning Tuna cover, you know, because that's what you need when you're a tanaholic like me. Speaking of tan, I obviously have none on right now. I was meant to go and get a spray tan tonight because I have a lot of work to do this week. So I'll probably do that later on. But first things first, I cleaned up a little bit around here. I still have to unpack that suitcase in there. But I'm going to take you guys with me to the supermarket and the health food shop because I have a whole... A lot of things to buy. My HelloFresh just arrived. I just put it in the fridge, so I'll definitely be having that for dinner. But I am, if you remember on the last vlog that I did, or the one before, I can't remember, um, I told you about the new, like, dietary way of life thing that I'm trying out. Mm -hmm. Now that I'm home, I think I'm home for another two weeks before I go back down to Sydney. I just want to get into a good routine with my eating and my um, working out. Obviously, I'm back training with Katie tomorrow, so I'm very, very excited about that. Yeah, I just have some serious goals that I am determined to make happen, like health-wise, fitness-wise, mentally. Yeah, just like get myself to the best version of me. So anyway, I have all this stuff that I need to go and buy from the supermarket. It's all like organic, but it doesn't have anything and no nasties or anything in it. It's a lot of like 70% is uh, fresh fruit and vegetables. And then the other stuff is stuff like um, nuts and nut milk, all that sort of shit, right? Um, so I just cleaned out my fridge before the HelloFresh arrived. Now it was empty and now it's full. So I don't know how I'm going to go with buying all this stuff. But um, I'm going to take you guys along with me. I don't know how I'm gonna go filming in the fucking shops, but let's see how we go. I'm gonna go to um, Indrapilly Shopping Center because they have a few, like they have a big Coles, they have a big Woolworths, they have a health food shop. Um, and yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. So let's go. <laughs> well, wow. I have never felt like such a, I feel like I'm living in like the like, why aren't the shops open? I don't understand. Holy, okay. There's been a turn of events. I just had so much luck. So I was on my way home and mum, I called my mum and she's like, go to an IGA because an IGA will be open. Of course, like she told me, places aren't open because it's fucking Labor Day. I didn't realize that was the public holiday. So anyway, um, stopped up an IGA on the way home and thought, oh, maybe I'll stop in on, um, to James Street and go to the Standard on James Street, which is like another supermarket that's got all these, this nice food in there, whatever. Um, anyway, sure enough, I went, it was open. And then I went to another standard and it was also open. And also the organic supermarket was open. <laughs> so I got so much stuff. I'm gonna probably get it all out and then go through it with you guys. Okay guys, here is all the groceries I just picked up. Yes, I'm so excited for this. Like you have no idea. Yum! All right, so I'll do the health food shop first and then I'll do the standard after that. So the first thing that I got is this Dr. Stewart's Extraordinary Good Tea, Liver Detox Tea. It is a natural caffeine-free tea. This new 
program that I'm following says that I should be having like a liver detox tea um, every night sort of before I go to bed or every other day so um yeah I got this one here then the next thing that I got is this clipper natural fair and delicious super special organic coffee I have been really into bulletproof coffee lately which is it's really been my favorite but I often don't give myself enough time to get down to the coffee shop, get my coffee, come back, wait for it to kick in, and then go to the gym, if that makes sense, if, I'm, if you're picking up what I'm putting down. I would wake up now, obviously wake up in the morning, have my water, have my chia seeds, have my breakfast, have my organic instant coffee, and um, then, yeah, I can I have enough time for it to all, like, obviously um, work and pass through the body. Yeah, I am excited to try this. I have another, just a... Um, different brand of instant coffee there. I don't know if instant coffee is that good for you, which is sort of why I'm a little bit not sure about that, but I'll try it and let you guys know how I like it. Okay, next I have some organic hulled tahini. So this is what I'm going to be using to make some hummus. I'll probably make a lot of it and then just keep the container in the fridge so that I can snack on that during the day. It's normally around this time. It's, it's I can't, oh no, it's about, about 4.30 that I get peckish. It's um, 1.30 now. Uh, I'm just about to make myself some lunch, as I said. So it's normally about 4.30 that I get a little bit hungry, typically for something sweet. Um, so I need to go out and get, actually I think I have some, I need to get some apples and then I will have like raw, you know, peanut butter and apples or some carrot sticks with, um, hummus that I'm going to make with this tahini. So that's what we're going to do with that. Then I got some certified organic apricots. I'm going to use them in my breakfast, which I will show you guys probably another vlog because I think this one will be too long. But yeah, again, a part of my new like program health way of life thing that I'm following. I got some more Celtic salt. If you don't know what Celtic salt is, it's just pretty much salt that's got heaps of minerals in it that is much better for you than pink Himalayan salt or obviously that table salt that has absolutely nothing good in it for you. This bag I got from the organic supermarket, it was about $5. It's literally the same price as you would get for a bag of pink Himalayan salt um, and it's just so much better for you. So I highly recommend you guys switch over to Celtic salt. It's spelled C-E-L-T-I-C, -E obviously. And yeah, you can get it at your health food shop. So there you go. Then I got some toasted black sesame oil. I'm going to be using this a lot more in my cooking. And same as the rest of this stuff, I got this from the organic supermarket too. All this stuff is organic, by the way, you guys. Just wanted to put that out there. Okay. Next thing that I got are the cacao cashew nuts that I rave about on my channel. I get them from the health food shop. They're so freaking delicious. They're about $3 a bag and it's just like the most, it's not even like they're sweet. They just like have that chocolatey sort of flavor and the cashews are really creamy. So when you're chewing it, it's kind of like you're eating chocolate, but you're not really eating all the sugar, which is really good. So I got those. Then I got some cacao nibs to put on my breakfast some raw cacao powder which I'll be using in some baking. Next I got some organic chickpeas, kidney beans, cannellini beans, lentils and whole peeled tomatoes. They're just good to have in your pantry if you're looking for a meat free option or you don't have anything in the fridge you can always rely on like a can of beans or something to just fill you up which is really great they're so important to have in your pantry i think and they're a great source of um fiber and protein as well next i got this which is probably the game changer big shout out to my mum. she showed me this the other day her and i are obviously doing this thing together and part of the breakfast meal is a bunch of seeds and nuts and just heaps of stuff right um so to save buying all the bags of seeds and nuts separately which if you've ever wanted to do that it's fucking expensive like that stuff is so expensive especially if you're buying organic it can just add up so quickly so of course my mum, being the best bargain hunter in the world she has actually stumbled across this product it's called the good mix blend 11 and it is the it's the whole food breakfast booster um, but it's pretty much just got nothing bad in it. All it is is chia seeds, almonds, pepitas, coconut, buckwheat, flax seeds, sesame seeds, goji berries, raw cacao nibs, and puffed millet. 
Not sure. But so, like I would say like every every one of these in here is a part of the hot breakfast that I'm going to start making for myself in the morning. So instead of buying all the bags of nuts and seeds separately, I just buy this and use like a, t a tablespoon or so in water and activate it the night before and then use it on my breakfast the next day. So fucking such a great idea. They also have a blend uh, 13, I think, that's got maybe two extra um, nuts or seeds in it. But yeah, so that's pretty cool. It also says it's designed by a naturopath. So can only be good for you, right? Okay, what else? Oh, I got some of these brown rice, organic brown rice cakes. They are great to snack on during the week as well, especially around that 4 p.m. mark when I start to get hungry. Okay, oh, last, what was the last? Oh yeah, this is the last thing I got from the organic supermarket. I just got some organic curry powder that is like medium spice level, just because I feel like I will definitely be making a lot of curries in the near future. Um, I like, you know, what a coconut milk curry. It's just so comforting, especially with winter coming up. It's kind of like just perfect. But yeah, that is everything that I got from the organic supermarket. Now moving on to the standard. All right, a head of broccoli. Woohoo, so exciting. I'm gonna have some chicken. No, a steak. I bought a steak. I'm gonna have a steak tomorrow night and have the broccoli with my steak. I bought a big wedge chunk, wedge of ginger, some turmeric. If you've never seen what turmeric looks like that is not dried, this is what it looks like. I think I just got it. I mean, the shape is not, I don't think, they're not all shaped like that is what I'm trying to say, but that's what turmeric looks like. Then I got some cumin spice. Now, cheese is this new, it's like a bit of a funny, I'm trying to cut out as much obviously, like like I don't drink full cream milk um, ever. I rarely eat milk products, but the one thing that I fucking just struggle with taking out of my diet so much is cheese. This is, this is organic feta cheese, which is okay in small doses for me and my gut and how I'm trying to heal my gut. I got that one, and then I also got this Meredith Dairy from our farm, goat's cheese, the original goat's cheese. I have goat's cheese that's marinating in some oil right now, but um, the oils are not good for you. So I am going to switch up to just a normal goat's cheese that's not been marinated in anything. Next, I got a shitload of garlic. Garlic is such a superfood. I have been researching and listening to podcasts and just doing a bunch of um, sort of, yeah, research on, on foods that are good for you. And this with this new plan that I'm following, I have to be eating at least that much garlic a week or at least two bulbs of garlic a week. And the smoothie that I have in the morning actually has a clove of garlic in it. So that's quite full on. But yeah, as I said, I don't want to give you guys too much like info about this because I don't know if it's really going to be insanely beneficial to me. I am obviously prepared to try it and then if it's worth it, I'll let you guys know more about it, but I just don't want to lead you up the wrong path. You know what I mean? Okay, next I got some raw pepitas to snack on. They're the pumpkin seeds. Some raw insect insecticide-free almonds. So they're not roasted, they're not salted, they're just raw as they are. And then I also got some sunflower seeds as well. Moving on, I got some apple cider vinegar. This is, I mean, if you are super into gut health and like all that sort of stuff, I'm sure you know the importance of apple cider vinegar. Super important, I am almost out of the one that I have already, so I had to stock up on this one. Then I also got some malt vinegar. That's gonna be, um, I'm not gonna use it all that often, it's just to dress a salad that I like to make for myself for lunch. Then of course, I got some Koyo Natural Coconut Yogurt. This coconut yogurt's really good because it's just got the coconut milk um, and the vegan live cultures, nothing else in it, which is super important. You don't want anything that you don't like recognize in your food, right? And I guess this is something that I'm learning now that I'm doing a lot of research on chemicals and like, for example, filtered water and how much, how, how important filtered water is to be having instead of just drinking water out of the tap, all the chemicals and like shit that's in the water systems. I don't know, I'm just like, I'm learning a lot and I'm the worst at explaining things, so I probably sound like a fucking dumbass trying to explain it to you guys, but in my mind, it makes sense. So anyway, Koyo, yep, that's gonna be part of my breakfast too. Then I got some more capers. These are just capers in um, vinegar, which I love to put in my salads. 
some of the coconut aminos. These are amazing. If you can't have soy and you're looking for a soy sauce alternative, you have to try the coconut aminos. They are, it tastes exactly like soy sauce, maybe just a little bit um, sort of sweeter in a sense, but not like sweet. Yeah, I really, really recommend you guys trying it if you're soy sensitive or um, just trying to remove some of the soy products from your life. I did that when I had to cut everything out about two years ago. Sushi was like everything to me back then because I was, I went, it was when I lived on the Gold Coast and I would get sushi every afternoon after going to get the groceries. So then when I couldn't have soy, I had to find an alternative. So yeah, I definitely recommend the original one. There's also a teriyaki flavor, which is amazing. And yeah, gluten-free obviously too. So that's good. Then I also got this, which I'm excited to try. I just saw it and it kind of just like grabbed my attention. It's the Paleo Clusters Manuka Macadamia Organic slow roasted, oh clusters, right, they're clusters. I've been really looking forward to that. It just sounds so good. And then I read the ingredients. It's just pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, Brazil nuts, cashew nuts, macadamia nuts, coconut hemp seeds, manuka honey, and chia seeds. Pretty good. Okay, moving on. I got some organic chicken thigh. I'm gonna have that right now because I'm fucking hungry. Some organic unsalted butter. Some grass-fed, um, Ghee, if you guys don't know what ghee is, it's like the oil from the milk of the cows. So I guess, I think it's like melted and then they take the oil off of the top of the, when it separates and then they um, sell it. So it says here, they clarify the cultured butter that has been fermented and ripened for four weeks. The butter is then melted and the milk solids are caramelized before straining with the muslin cloth. So that's exactly how they do it. That's really good to use in curries instead of using olive oil or butter or anything like that. If you use ghee, it will give you more of like a rich flavor in your curry. You can get ghee from the supermarkets, but I got this one from The Standard and I love that brand. Okay, then this is, oh, then I got a piece of porterhouse steak that was um, on sale, which is awesome. I'm gonna have that tomorrow. So then this is everything that's gonna be for my green smoothies in the morning. So I've got cucumbers, two cucumbers, some kale. I got four oranges, cause you need um, some vitamin C in with all of this to help. In with all of this greenness, because the greenness is full of iron and iron needs vitamin C to absorb properly into your bloodstream. Mm, I'm learning. Okay, then I got some rocket and some spinach, some bok choy, and a lot of silver beet. The only thing that I didn't get is celery, but I can get that tomorrow. So yeah, I need to go ahead and bag up all my um, breakfast smoothie. Like I'm just gonna cut it all up and then put it all in separate bags and freeze them and then just take them out as I need them um, each day. So. Woohoo! I'm so happy that I managed to get all that done, you guys. I'm gonna go and cook myself some chicken right now because I'm fucking hungry. But, um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of a bit all over the place being down visiting Omar and Opa. He actually has his, um, specialist appointment tomorrow on Tuesday, so we will know more of what is going on tomorrow. I think he is, um, you know... I don't think it's, I don't know. I'm trying to be positive, but I also um, am just gonna, I'm trying to like prepare myself for the worst. So um, yeah, please keep him in your prayers. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will speak to you in my next video.